for the most part and not focus so much on, on differences that could happen so that we can then get some data input in place and then move to um, the year-end information. So these are basically gonna be the same as the prior periods. We'll just get practice in doing this a little bit faster so that we can see multiple sections of data and see what repeats, what differs. What we really wanna watch out for when we differ is gonna be these caps, what happens to these caps after we have more payroll processes. That's really where you gotta be careful. So we're gonna scroll back up and we're gonna, these are gonna be the same, the M, and the allowances, unless there's any changes, then those will be the same. So unless anyone adjusted their W-4 information. So I'm gonna copy that information, right click. If I'd be able to right click, I was gonna, or control C, and then scroll down. And we're gonna put that in B19, right click, and we wanna paste just the form, just the ABC, not the form. Well, we can paste the format anyway, either one, whichever you like. And then we're gonna to go to the regular hours, and that's gonna be, we're gonna say it's 163. And we're gonna say that 25 is the rate for more regular pay. And note, this, this should mirror. We're basically gonna be mirroring what happened up here. That won't be the case when we have hourly employees. They may have different schedules that are, you know, vary from time to time, or maybe very consistent, depending on our who we are working with. If we have salaried employees, it could be very consistent. So it just really depends on whose payroll we're talking about as to how varied their schedule will be from month to month or pay period to pay period. We are now